Alrighty, welcome everybody. It is Tuesday night and it is time to do some stamping. My name is Julie Brown. I am Julie's Creative Stamping and welcome to my Facebook Live. Uh, you, obviously, you're either watching this on Facebook or you are watching the replay video that I upload on YouTube. Uh, just a note, if you're watching me on Facebook, make sure you follow me so that um, and like me. Same thing with YouTube, make sure you follow, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. That way you'll be notified anytime I come on to do any of these videos. Uh, so anyway, welcome tonight. Uh, I have a really fun collection to show you. It just became live today for all of the customers, so pretty exciting. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but let me go ahead and get rid of, or get rid of, get some of my housekeeping out of the way so we can start stamping. So for those of you that plan on placing an order with me this month, please use this hostess code. That is the February hostess code. You can order through me at juliebrown.stampinup.net. Um, you can contact me through my email, juliescreativestampin at gmail.com. And then you can check me out on Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Julie's Creative Stamping. Most importantly is that blog at the bottom, stampinjuliebrown.blogspot.com, because that is where I put almost every card that I design, whether I do a video on it or not, they will all be on my blog with step-by-step -step instructions. So yay, exciting, right? I think so. Uh, anyway, welcome, welcome. And um, if you're new to being here, just make sure that you type in the comments and let me know that you're here. Um, also, if you have any questions, again, go ahead and type in the comments. Now, the last two times I've done this, I've had video issues with it, like slowing down, speeding up, all of that wonderful stuff. Um, but what I have found is I just keep recording, and then if I have to, I'll upload it later. So please, if you don't get to watch it live and it does go down, hey, Brenda, um, hey, Mel. Uh, so if that does happen again, just, just give me a little bit. I'll finish recording, and then it will be uploaded. So for those of you that were trying to watch last week, and didn't get to, it is on my Facebook page. Uh, so make sure you check that out. And then we're gonna, hey Shanine, we're gonna get started tonight. So let's talk about what we're looking at tonight. So this actually just became available today for customers, February 1st, and it's called the, the All Together Collection. And are you guys noticing something here? Look at all the natural tone blends. That's right. We have all of these new blends and it's part of this collection. Now these can be bought separately or you can buy them all together with the collection. The only, they, the only way you can get them all together is to buy them with the whole collection, but you can buy each one of these separately. Now they all are marked a little bit differently. If you'll notice, they actually just have these numbers on the side like the SU100, and I went ahead and put these in it because they're actually categorized now as like deep, um, medium deep, medium uh, light, and I think medium light is the other one here. So anyway, these are just tons of fun. This collection also comes with designer series paper that is all black and white, and it's got all this fun, I mean, this is, this is a heck of a pack of paper. There is so much paper in this. So fun, fun, fun. And let me just kind of show you the flyer for this. Um, because this is why, uh, while supplies last. So again, we're back to only while supplies last. So it's available February 1st, today through May 2nd. And the whole collection you can get... And here's the number if you guys want to write that down, if this is something you might think you're interested in. It in. Um, the whole collection is 160941. Um, and that includes the stamp set, the paper, the dies, and all of the blends. And so I'm going to flip to this other page because these are the things that you can buy it separately. Okay, so you can buy just the stamp, just the dies just the paper, but again, the only way that you can get all of the markers together is to buy it in the collection. Otherwise, you have to buy them each separately. Um, but they are available separately, so yay! So anyway, this is gonna be a really fun night. I'm gonna actually try to get four cards in tonight. So let's hope that everything goes smoothly and I'm able to get that 
all these done. But we're gonna get started right away so that I can get them all done. Um, and just so you know, by the time I get done with all of the cards, I will have used every single stamp in the stamp set. So fun. And this is a really fun stamp set. It has the I Heart You. And then I used to call that the Pinky Promise. I don't know what everybody else calls it, but that's what I used to call it. Okay, so let me get these all set to the side so that we can get started. I've done most of my coloring um, ahead of time just for sake of time. All right, so let's get started on our first card. This one I am gonna do one little bit of coloring, but I, I'm using Highland Heather as the card base for this one with some basic black and some white. Obviously, I'm going to burnish it so we have some nice, nice straight edges. So this is one of the designer series paper and I have colored it and I've kind of shown you all the different tones that you can get, but I also did this really fun um, blending chart just to kind of show you because they're numbered 100 to 1000 and I just kind of filled this in to show you all the different combinations that you can get as you're blending these um, natural tones together. I, I, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I am excited about this. I have wanted these natural tones in blends for a long time. So anyway, I went ahead and colored these in ahead of time. And then of course I have the um, Highland Heather, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green as the hearts for this. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this part out of the way. We're gonna just attach this to a bl uh, basic black mat. Is anyone else excited about the natural tones? Oh, I am. Hopefully everything's running smoothly tonight and you guys are all hearing everything. All right. Sometimes I have to quit talking long enough to try to get my paper straight. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to do there. So now I also brought in the Tasteful Label dies too, and I do, I'm doing two cards where I'm using these dies. I was going to switch and use some different dies, but I thought, you know, I'm just going to show you how you can use that one set of dies um, and get that done. Okay, so let's bring in our little... Um, Pinky Promise, and we're going to ink that up with black memento ink. I believe this is the only one that I'm actually coloring tonight. I think I've got everything else colored ahead of time for you guys. So we're just going to stamp that down. And then, of course, I have misplaced my, oh, there it is, my chamois to clean this off with. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys really quick. So I'm gonna actually, for this one, I'm just gonna use the the two light ones and they're numbered um, 1,900. So just to kind of give you a heads up, um, the, the smaller of the number, so I have 1,000 and I have 900. The smaller of the number is actually the darker color. So in each set, it, it's the it's the smallest number that is the darker one just that that's just to help you guys out all right so I'm just gonna take my dark one and just kind of put some shading in here again you guys know when I do this I'm always not horribly careful I'm just trying to get um, some shading in here. So I'm just going to kind of color it like that. Let me bring that in just a little bit so you guys can see. Let's scoot this up. Then we're just going to um, bring in the lighter one, which is the 1000. And we're just going to blend in those colors. So they do still come in like a combo. Um, so this is the light and, you know, like I said, each, each of the combos, um, does come with a light and a dark, but it's not like 
it doesn't have a name like all of our other ones are like Highland Heather, Light Highland Heather, Dark high, Highland Heather. Um, this does not do that. This is just, um, it, it'll say light and dark and then it has the two numbers. And the way that you know, you, the way that you know the one that is the darker one is the lighter or the, the smallest of the two numbers. If that makes sense. And I learned kind of too late when they come, they come in a pat and come in packaging, and the on the on the little package before you throw it out, look at it because the package actually has written on it um, like light or deep or whatever they're calling it. And I actually had thrown my mine away, and then um, someone said they had found it on there, and I went ah. Oh, Dang it. All right, so that's using the two lights, and we're just going to color that in. And then I'm going to actually uh, bring in my dark Highland Heather, and we're going to do um, the fingernails on this one with the light Highland Heather, like so, just to give it a little pop of color. And then we're going to cut this out with the matching dies because. The dies for this set do the two hands, the heart, and then it's got some words that it cuts out. And I'm going to be, hopefully, if I move fast enough, I'll be showing you guys all of this tonight. So, ta-da! I'm using my little baby. Oh, I guess I need to go back out. Hold on. I'm using our little mini stamp and cut emboss. I don't, I don't use this enough, and I really should, especially when I'm doing this with you guys. Um, because it's a lot easier to uh, bring this back and forth than the big one. So we're going to be, tonight we're using our mini stamp and cut machine. And I'm just going to secure those in place, and hopefully I've got all of my plates over here for this one. I think it just takes, yeah. I think it just takes, yep, just takes these. You guys can hear all the popping and cracking and that's actually normal. It's so funny when people first come to my card classes and they hear that, um, kind of freaks them out a little bit because they think they're breaking my machine. But hearing that pop, popping and crackling is actually quite normal. Um, the only thing that's not normal is if it looks like it's folding up your dies, then you probably have the wrong combination that you're using to put that through. Okay, so let's get this little baby out of the way. And let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to the card front so we can start building on this. So again, if you guys have any questions, make sure you pop those in. And like I said, hopefully our internet will be good to us tonight. All right, so then I'm gonna pop this on here like so. Then I am going to come in with our, um, this is the sheer ribbon and it's the gorgeous grape. And so I'm gonna bring in some mini glue dots. And, and I just kind of set them on my page to um, begin with. And I kind of start this one um, shorter than I want it to be because I don't want I don't want it to hang with just a straight edge at the bottom, and so that's why I do that. And actually, I probably needed to start this one yeah over here a little bit, and then I just kind of fold that and bring it down onto that same glue dot. And then I kind of, uh, I'm going to, you know, remember how I always do these dry runs? This is kind of one of my dry runs. I'm just going to kind of bring this in here to see how much I want hanging off the bottom. That way it gives me an idea. And you'll notice that I have not taken the ribbon off of my, um, off. And you know what? I did that wrong. I actually want to do this. So sorry. I want to fold this one down on top of itself so it's in line. See, I, even I sometimes forget what I'm doing. I think it's because I'm trying to talk and do stuff at the same time. 
which is always dangerous for me. I don't know about you guys, but it's always kind of a dangerous thing for me. All right, so then that's up. I need that a little bit lower. So we're gonna pull that down a little lower. So I'm just, I'm just bringing this in just to kind of see like where that ribbon's gonna lay. And that's what I'm looking at. All right, so then I can come in with another glue dot and stick it right here. And then again, just kind of make sure that my ribbon is turned the way I want it to turn. And we're gonna just fold that down. And then now it's pretty easy to measure because I can just kind of go and make it even with that one. But I do need another glue dot. Sometimes the ribbons can take the longest amount of time, especially if you're doing this type of a layout where you're folding it back and forth because it takes a little bit of some finagling. So, and I think I, I'm just gonna go to where I have like four of these on the top and on the bottom. Okay, so then this one is gonna be the one that's gonna fold back on itself like I did on this first one over here. So I'm gonna put a glue dot right there and then we'll fold this one right back on itself. And then we're gonna bring in our snips and then just snip that right there. Oops, didn't get it all the way through. All right, so that's how I got the ribbon on there. And then I'm going to, um, before I put this on, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this here, like so, with some liquid glue. So I hope everybody's had a good week. I actually spent um, the weekend in Las Vegas, not gambling, not partying. <laughs> hey, Susie. Um, but for my uh, grandson's two-year-old, he turned two, and so we went to his birthday. And it was tons of fun. And they had a, they brought in a big bouncy house and I was like, oh my gosh, that just seems like, you know, spending a lot of money for that bouncy house. Oh my gosh, it was way worth its money. It kept those kids entertained the entire time. I, I was amazed how long those kids jumped in that thing. And they had a blast and had so much fun. And yeah, I've never, you know, they really didn't have the bouncy houses available when my kids were growing up. So my kids never got a bouncy house. Um, but, uh, like I said, I was thinking that it was kind of a, um, you know, kind of expensive and, but then when I saw how much fun the kids had and the fact that, you know, it kind of kept them outside and they weren't like all in the house cause there was a ton of kids, a ton of kids there. All right. So let's just get the backing off of this, but yeah. So my first experience with a bouncy house, I of course did not bounce. Um, but the kids did. <laughs> they had a good time. Alrighty. So I think I have misplaced a piece that I need. So oh, you're going to have to bear with me here for one second. All right. So now I'm just going to take this and we're just going to try to center that. I'm trying to look at the camera and see if it's centered. There we go. All right, so we're going to center it like so. Then we're going to come in, and I need a little strip. Um, and I'm sure I've got a million of these half-inch strips. So let me figure out how long I want this. I'm going to have to trim this because I did not get this cut ahead of time. So I think I want it to be a about three inches long. So bear with me as I bring in my trimmer. I actually thought I had cut this earlier and I probably did, but you know how, you know, you, you get things cut and then you start doing other things and then you lose the piece that you cut. Does that happen to any of you? Happens to me all the time and it's crazy. Drives me crazy. All right, let's see if I can find a 
Okay, so then I'm gonna bring in, the. there's a little saying in here that says, I promise. And so I'm going to put this one on here. Let's see if I can get it straight. I don't have, you guys can see, I don't have my, uh, my uh, usual paper here that has my little lines on it. So let's see if I, oh, look, I got it straight. Woohoo! That's exciting. So yeah, I'm glad, good mail. I'm glad I'm not the only one that that happens to where I like, you know, <laughs> I cut pieces and then I know I've cut them, but I just can't find them. That unfortunately happens to me more than I want to admit. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take some liquid glue again and run on the back of this. And then we're just gonna flip this over and stick this right here on the bottom so it kind of covers that um, bottom edge of the hands. Oopsie. There we go, so it's gonna look like that. And then for the inside, I am going to take the other sentiment. So the front is gonna say, I promise, and the inside is gonna say, we'll get through this together. So, um, very touching sentiment for me at this time because I had so many people show up for me um, last month, and so um, means means something to me. Brenda, so you lose it all the time, usually in your lap or on the floor. Oh, how funny. Yeah, I know. It's like, and it drives you crazy, doesn't it? Because you know you just cut it, and it just will, like, make you crazy. All right, so we're going to stamp that like so. And then it also has this fun little heart. It has a fun little heart stamp. And so we're going to bring in the black memento again. And I'm just going to put three little hearts down here. And then we're going to color them in real quick with um, some of our Stampin' Blends. And then we're almost done with this card. I mean, obviously it takes a little bit longer than what I'm showing you because I colored all of this. But again, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I use the blends, it usually goes pretty quick. So it really doesn't take that long. So I'm going to do one of these hearts in Flirty Flamingo. So let me get that one colored. And then I'll do one in the Granny Apple Green. So I'm basically just kind of copying these hearts that are on the front. Using those same colors and bringing those to the inside of the card. And remember, when you're using blends and you're using white... They do bleed through, so you never want this to be like the front of your card and then color on it with blends, because if you were to open the card, you would see that on the back side. So you always want to put a mat behind any piece that you are um, uh, doing your coloring your blends on. So always keep that in mind. Um, I've, I, have, I have forgotten that a couple of times, and I have just started creating and used... Uh, a white card base and then colored with blends and went oops <laughs> doesn't work so good guys just so you know then we're just going to use some stamp and seal plus so i hope you guys don't get tired of all these little hands tonight because this is just such a cute set um and i just wanted to show you some really fun ideas with it and then we're just gonna open that up, stick this on the inside, and then I'm gonna let you guys decide. Would you like me, do you think I should color in some rhinestones and put them on the label on the front, or should I leave it plain? So you guys decide, and then I will do the front based on what you decide I should do. So I'll be waiting for your guys' answer. Let me see if I got that straight. I think I did. So, do we want to put some rhinestones here that are colored in, or do we leave it as it is? 
So I'm waiting for someone to say nay, yay, let me decide. <laughs> so totally up to you guys to decide on that one. So let me know what you think. But there it is without any of them on it. But isn't this a stinking cute card? Okay, Brenda's saying rhinestones, please. So let me grab my rhinestones. Oh, don't tell me I don't have any sitting right here. Yes, I do. I was like, I always have rhinestones. All right. So my next question is, on the rhinestones, do you guys want them to be flirty flamingo, gorgeous grape, or granny apple green? Look, I'm letting you guys design tonight. How fun is this? So I'll hold this up here while I'm waiting to hear what color everybody thinks. And I'll either take the first person who says a color or the majority of what everybody votes for. So do we want granny, do we want granny apple green rhinestones, gorgeous grape, or flirty flamingo? So up to you guys. I'll wait to hear from you. And no one's saying anything, so you guys are going to make me choose. All right, I'm not seeing anything, so... Oh, gorgeous grape. Flamingo. Okay. So, I got gorgeous grape and flirty flamingo, so I think what I'll do is I'll do uh, two of the gorgeous grape, and I'll do one in flirty flamingo. How's about that? We'll just, like, mix it up here tonight. And then we'll color this one flirty flamingo. Now what's nice about the Stampin' Blends is because it's an, now you can't do this with your basic, uh, with your basic markers, um, because they're not, they're water-based and, and that color will come right off those rhinestones. But you can do it with the Stampin' Blends because they are alcohol-based and, um, they dry really quick and... Um, that allows you to, I think I'm going to need a couple more of the flirty flamingo. I'm not liking, well, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I know there's a delay of about 30 seconds. So there you go. We're just going to leave it like that so I can get moving on. All right. So there's what it looks like. I hope you guys like this first card. Isn't it fun? So it says, I promise we'll get through this together. So tons of fun, right? Really fun card. Okay, so our next card is, um, I know everyone's probably Valentine's out with making cards, but I wanted to show you how you could take this set and turn it into a Valentine Day card. So I have um, this, I've cut these out from our um, Sweet Talk designer series paper. It has dies that match it. And so I've cut these out and you'll notice that one of them didn't cut out all the way. And I wanted to show this to you because I want to show you guys how you can use, still use these and not waste that designer series paper if you're planning on cutting a bunch of the hearts out of it. So um, I wanted to point that out first. Oh good, I'm glad. Oh so Susie you have this set. Fun. Okay, so this time I colored it in um, ahead of time and we're doing the I heart you sign. I think that's what it is. I'm not up on all of the um, lingo. And I'm going to go ahead and this time we're going to paint the fingernails um, with Flirty Flamingo. There we go. And then we're going to bring in the die cut machine and we're going to cut this one out. Now, when this one cuts out, it actually cuts that heart out of there. And so when I first tried this, I actually had like colored inside the heart and had it all ready to go that way. And then it cut that out. And I was like, oh, bummer. But that's fine because I have a fix for that for what I, for what I was wanting to do. So we're just going to lay that die on there. like so and then we're just gonna run this one through 
but I, you know, because I kind of wanted to show you like the first one I did and it was all completely using just the collection, but I also want to show you how you can mix and match um, the collection, which is what we're doing this time um, because we're bringing in some, uh, a little bit of the designer series paper from the Sweet Talk so that we can make this a Valentine's Day card. I thought that would be fun because, I mean, Valentine's isn't here yet, right? So we can still do this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, now I use that same label, which is the um, Tasteful Labels, exact same label, but this time in white. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to glue this with liquid glue on like so. And then I also brought in, a, um, I believe it's the Love and Happiness um, in the mini catalog. There is this um, Love and Happiness set. You guys all know I love sentiment sets. And so it had a really cute, tiny Valentine's one in here. And so I actually, I'm pulling that one in to uh, for the sentiment. I think because I like love sentiment stamps, I get a lot of them. So I obviously will be mixing, I mix and match my stamp sets a lot with sentiments especially. All right, and then what I wanna do is um, come in with the Flirty Flamingo. Ah. And we're just gonna color in like where the heart would have been. All right, so we're just gonna color that in like so. And then we're going to bring in that little sentiment. It's really tiny. It says, Happy Valentine's Day, friend. And that's from that Love and Happiness set. And we're just gonna come in with a, a black memento ink. Now let's see if I can get this centered. Whew. This one is a little harder to get placement. Oh, I did it. I get so excited when I stamp things straight. Don't you guys? It's like, oh, oh my gosh. Is it sad that we get so excited when we stamp things correctly? <laughs> I know a lot of times, you know, those of you that are kind of new to stamping and you watch all of us do these videos and you think that we're so expert at doing this, but well, just so you know, we all make mistakes too. So we are not perfect at this. All right, so I'm going to bring in um, a Flirty Flamingo bat, our card base. And then this is part of that designer series paper. It has that on one side, and then this cute little um, pattern on this side. That designer series paper is all black and white, which I don't know if, if for any of you that, um, Sarah Douglas is our the CEO of, our, of Stampin' Up!, and she loves black and white, so I'm sure she probably had some um, say in the design of the designer series paper because she really likes working with black and white. And you know what? I wasn't sure. Um, we've had several black and whites, and um, at first I wasn't sure if I would like designing with them, but I really do too. I really love designing with the black and white ones. Alrighty, and so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna pop this one up like I did on the other one, but I'm gonna kinda do this one at an angle, like so. So if I can find what I just did with all those dimensionals, and I've only got like pieces left, so I'll be using all my pieces here, maybe. That one, the backing won't. This one, the backing doesn't, there we go. The backing didn't wanna come off. Okay, so I'm just going to stick, so bear with me while I stick these around. And you guys have heard me say, oh, that's not the one I cut. Oh, well, let me bring in some snips and we'll cut this really quick. Because don't forget on your Stampin' Dimensionals, every little piece of this has sticky on it. So don't throw it away. Yeah, black and white is classy. I agree, Brenda. 
even though I'm bringing pops of color in on this, it is, it is very classic to use the black and white. All right, so let's get all of this paper off and we're gonna stick that on there. And this one's a little bit different because like I said, I'm bringing in um, pieces from another designer series paper. So it does make it a quite a bit different than what you would expect. Okay, so then what we're gonna do, so remember this piece I told you, if you have pieces that you're cutting out or as you're cutting out like part of your designer series paper, a lot of times Stampin' Up! has dies that match and this particular, the Sweet Talk one is one. But I liked the purple um, heart and I didn't want to waste it. So um, it's still completely usable, especially in this case with the way that I'm putting it on here because it's going to be behind this. And so it hides the fact that all of it didn't cut. So don't forget that. Don't forget that you can use um, things like that in those situations. And then we're going to bring in this little one that says love you. And that one is going to go right next to that one. And then down here in this corner, um, it says text me again, but that's okay. It's in a different color. Maybe we really want you to text me. <laughs> I really want to text, right? And you could put, and I might actually sneak a little dimensional underneath there. I didn't think it was going to need it, but now that I'm looking at it, I think it does. So let me just, well, let me just pull the whole thing off. Whoopsie. Okay. Yeah, it needed that. I didn't think it was going to come off that edge enough, but it did. So we're just going to add that. And then we're going to put this, um, this is pool party and it says, you are cute. And that one's going to go right there. And then we're going to bring in this other, this little last one that says, hug me. And it's going to sit right here just to kind of cover up those edges a little bit. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to bring in our sheer, what is it called? Sheer ribbon. And this is pool party. We're going to tie a bow. So again, for those of you that have my bow maker, I'm showing you how to use it right now. So I always put the, the big big side down towards me and then I'm doing a small bow so I just have a little bit of a hangover here and then I bring the back ribbon past that and snip it okay and then I'm going to scoot this up and so we're going to go we're working with these two legs so we're going to wrap around both of those legs and then we're going to bring this forward and go through the middle at the top right there. Maybe if I can get that to go through. <laughs> Let me lower that down just a bit. Sometimes when, sometimes the, some, some of the ribbon doesn't like to go through, so you just kind of push it through. Ah, come on. Okay, so now I've gone through, and then you bring it around that bottom, like right between the legs, bring it up and then you're going to grab this piece from over here and you're going to tie your knot. Okay, so there you guys go for those of you that were just in my class <laughs> and said you had forgotten how to use it. Hopefully that has reminded you how to use that. Okay, and so then I'm just going to kind of mess with my I don't even know what you call these, the legs or the streamers or that one got kind of twisted. Okay, so then I'm going to bring in a glue dot and stick this pretty close to that, whoops, oh my gosh, it stuck to my hand. All right, let me try this again. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to position this. Oh, this is like funky. 
I wasn't paying attention. It must have twisted. And we're just going to lay that ribbon like so on there. And then I'm just going to trim those two little legs. I call them legs. I'm not even sure what you use them. Yes, Mel, very good. So these pieces that you cut off that aren't full, she has a good point. You can use them on your edges. So I could have put, I could have cut like half of a heart and put it over here. So very good point, Mel. Thank you. But I just, I just want to remind everybody that when you have this really fun designer series paper and you have all these fun, like this one has all these fun little hearts with different sayings on them, um, you know, you, you can get a lot of use out of that. All right. And so um, before I finish the front, I need to finish the inside. And so we're going to, I need to cut this down to three and three quarters. I always have a lot of um, basic white pieces cut down to four uh, by five and a quarter because that's the normal size that I use. But when I'm matting them like I'm doing here, my white piece is three and three quarters by five. And so I always used to have to, I usually have to just trim those down. So Susie, you call them loops and tails. That's a good thing too. Yeah, that works. Okay, so for this one on the inside, the, the front says, Happy Valentine's Day, friend. And so I'm going to go back to the Here's Here Together stamp set. And we're going to pull in the one that says, You Matter to Me. Because I think that would be a fun sent, you know, thing to send to somebody for Valentine's to say you matter. And this doesn't have to be, you know, this is to a friend. You know, it's, I mean, your friends like to know they matter to somebody, right? Everybody likes to know that. Okay, so there's the you matter to me. I think everybody likes to know that people are thinking of them. All right, and then we're going to bring in those hearts again. And this time, we're going to take these little hearts and we're just going to stamp a few up here. Like so. Oh, gosh. And I guess we're putting one down there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I must have had ink on my hand and... I touched it, <laughs> but now I'm going to fix it, right? All right, so let's color these in really quick. And so this time, even though I didn't put a yellow one on there, I'm going to bring in the So Saffron because some of these hearts do um, are in So Saffron. This, is, this one didn't have it, but I think it'll still be okay if I use it on the inside. And then we're going to do the Flirty Flamingo really quick. Now this is one, this is one that I should have stamped and had colored ahead of time, right? And then we're going to bring in Gorgeous Grape. And we're actually going to do two Gorgeous Grapes because that's it's the darkest one, and so I'm going to use this one to cover up down here at the bottom where I touched it with my hand. That's the only downfall about whisper, uh, basic white, right, is that if you're using inks and you get it on your hand and you touch, <laughs> and you happen to touch your card then it's on your card which now there are two sides right to every card so you I could have just flipped this over and re-stamped it in the back but um, it's just as it just as fun to put another heart on there that's just as easy uh, that's actually easier than re-stamping the whole thing at least I think so all righty so let's get this in and then I'm going to finish off the front with some of our new embellishments. I'll show you those in just a second. They're in the mini catalog. Oh my gosh, I touched it again. Oh well, I'll fix it later. 
Looks like we're going to have another heart down there. Oh, that was that was not that was just some lint. Okay. So then this is going to go on the inside. Alrighty. And I go through spurts where I like to mat, you know. Um, sometimes I'll just put the whisper or the basic white on the inside, and then sometimes I don't. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in, these are some of our new fun, these are called the polish dots. And you can see some are clear, and then some are, I think these are actually like the, um, I don't think they're like blushing bride. I think they're petal pink. Well, I don't know. They could be blushing bride or petal pink. They they could even be considered flirty flamingo because they're just but because they're based on that clear, it's a little lighter than what I would think flirty flamingo is. Alrighty, so we're going to bring in one of these, and of course I'm using my take a pick tool, and we're gonna bring in just a couple of these. We'll do just three of them just to kind of finish it off. The embellishments just kind of give it that extra little special touch that makes it fun. All right, so what do you guys think? Here's this card. Happy Valentine's Day, friend. And again, I brought in this Sweet Talk Designer Series paper and I used the dies that match that set or that bundle. Um, to cut out those hearts and then it says you matter to me. Yay! Card two done. Hope you guys like it. Fun. Okay, so for this next one, um, we're going to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to show you the paper. So this is the designer series paper that I started with and I just kind of cut it in half and then I colored in the hands and then I fussy cut the hands out so that I ended up with this. So I colored them and they're in all the different um, shadings. So it looks like that and I just fussy cut around them. And I don't think I've cut this one down yet either. So this is another one that needs to be um, three and three quarters by five because it's going to be matted. I know, aren't these skin tone color? I mean, I love the skin tone. They call them natural tones, but I love them. Um, but think about, you could also, I, I th and I haven't gotten to play with them, Susie, but I think you could also use these to add to hair colors and make some really fun hair colors too with these. So think about that, you know, not just the skin tone, but we could, you know, you could color in and make some fun hair hair colors. All right, so basically um, I'm just going to cut that down and um, eventually I'll be adding that on like that. But before I do that, I kind of want to measure like where the hands are going to be. And then I, before I glue this down, I'm going to come in with, there's a little saying here that says, I should have these turned upside down. Love changes everything, and this is part of that same set. So not only is it fun with all of these, like you can, this is the designer series paper that you can color and stamp out or cut out. And then um, those first two cards, the front of the cards where the, I use the stamps um, to stamp with black memento ink and um, color in. So lots of different things that you can do with this collection. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that up there like so. And then we are going to come in, and there's another stamp, um, and it's this one, and it's part of the stamp set. And I am just going to come in with Blackberry Bliss first, and we're just going to kind of stamp a few of these images onto this. Okay, so I'm going to stamp one like down here. And then stamp one like here. Whoops, I kind of rocked that a little bit. 
stamp that one there. Okay, then I'm gonna clean that off and we're gonna come back in with Rich Razzleberry. So I'm kind of using our um, Regals. And so we're using Blackberry Bliss and Rich Razzleberry because those are two different shades. You think what would look cool? Oh, the, these hands using dimensionals? Is that what you're talking about, Brenda? Okay, so again, we're just going to come in and get, let me try, I want to try to get as close as I can. All right. And I'm kind of stamping off these edges. And then I think I'll bring one more right there. Okay, a lot of that's gonna be covered up, but that's fine. So are you thinking the hands, is that what you're talking about, Brenda, would look cool? I'll try it. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure I can do, let me think about that because I have one edge. Um, see this edge right here? It's really thin and I don't know that I've got something thin enough to, to fit on there. But we will try it because Brenda says let's pop it up. So let's pop it up. Hey, you know what? I'll go for what you guys want me to try. We'll see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out, it's Brenda's fault. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so let's pull this big piece. So the biggest thing I'm gonna say is that we wanna make sure we have a lot of support um, on these upper pieces to make sure they they popped up well. Yeah. Okay, so, and then let's see. I'm going to have to trim some. This isn't the one. I've got some, I think. Okay. I've got one little tiny piece right there. Oh, it's not, it's not tiny enough. It's going to have to go like right there. Because this, you know what, let me see if I can find one that I can cut down even smaller. We're going to do this, Brenda. All right. That's the nice thing about your dimensionals, right? You have all these little pieces that you normally probably wouldn't use, but then you do. Sorry, I'm trying to see. I think that'll fit right there. Woohoo! Okay, and then um, I want like a half of one of these. Like right there. And then let's do one. I'm doing a lot more dimensionals than I normally do, but I just want to make sure. I, ha I haven't done it, so we'll see. <laughs> Brenda, yes, I know you. Everything needs dimension. Yes. All right. We're doing it. I'm here to make you all happy tonight. <laughs> Plus, I, th I, I agree. I think that would look cool. I just didn't even think about it. Actually, I'm seeing. Hold on. I think I want to put one more right there. All right. Let me. Now I got to get all these papers off. This takes a little bit. Okay, I think that's off. Okay, done, ta-da. Here we go. Now, now the problem is getting it lined up. Dimensionals do make it a little more challenging to line up. Oh, I like it. Looks good. What do you guys think with the dimension? Great idea, Brenda. Okay, oh, I should have put this on here first. Dang it. All right, that's fine. I'll use liquid glue. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna pop things up, you probably unless you're you know, unless you're like wanting to put a ribbon around it or something, you'll you probably would. It's best to adhere it to your mat first. Um, 
especially if you're wanting to use uh, like the stamp and seals liquid glue will be fine it it'll it'll actually adhere just fine and then I'm going to come in and I am going to wrap all of this with yeah. with some of the baker's twine or the linen thread sorry not baker's twine I've got that one too and I'm just gonna wrap it several times I, oops I want it to be on there kind of thick all right so now I gotta find my ends Get all this out of the way. Oh. All right, sorry, I've got to unwrap it because I've got too much over here and not enough over there. So let me pull that a little bit. And I always do this when I'm when I'm doing this, I always do like a crisscross. Um, again, just to give it a little more um, excitement. And then one thing that I do is I'll actually wrap this around before I tie it. And the reason I do that is it helps me um, to get my bow in the right position that I want it. So I kind of want my bow right there. So if I tie that, then I'm not constantly fighting with it um, to get the bow where I want it. So just another handy little tip there. All right, then we're just going to tie that. And I think I'm just going to leave the, this one's a little bit longer over here. So I'm just going to trim that just a bit. All righty. And then we're just going to bring in our Blackberry Bliss piece. And I am missing like so many of my pieces here. I'm going to have to cut me another Whisper White piece. Sorry, guys. I had them all sitting here, but I think when I was doing something, and um, the only reason I'm using liquid glue here is because I want to be able to get some glue on that uh, ribbon or linen thread just to help it hold in place. And then we're going to pop this on like so. Again, just another quick, pretty quick, and thanks to Brenda, dimensions. <laughs> All right, let me go grab some Whisper White here. I've kind of been uh, designing a lot today, so um, I usually have a huge stack of my Whisper White, so just bear with me while I cut me a couple of pieces here. And like I said, I usually my my normal size for the Whisper White is four by five and a quarter. If any of you are ever wondering what to do, oh, cool. So Susie says that when she sees the image of hands in the air like that, she always thinks about the hearing impaired people clap. Oh, you're right, they do clap like that. They, but yeah, you're right. Oh, how fun. Good thought. Okay, so for the inside of this one, um, I'm going to bring back in this stamp, and I think I'll just use the Blackberry Bliss since that's what I have here. Look, I'm already getting a hot mess on my table, which happens quite frequently to me. And I'm just gonna like stamp a little bit there and then do one kind of on top of that. And then um, one of the other sayings in this, I'm gonna bring that in, is every act, every act of kindness changes the world. So on the front, it's gonna say love changes everything. And then on the inside, it's gonna say every act of kindness changes the world, which is absolutely true. Side note, you speak side language. 
That's cool. I tried to learn that a while back and I I forget what happened. I was going to take a class and oh, the class got canceled. That's what happened. I remember now. Oh no. I don't think I can redo that. Okay. So if you ever do this, ha ha ha. Um Remember how I, I to, I've told all of you guys, all of us have a tendency to either put more pressure on the left or the right side. And sometimes that causes us not to get a clear, um, ooh, I don't know if I can use this side. Let me see. My brush tips looks like it's a little, let me try it. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work. Let me try the pen tip. But one of the things you can do is bring in your base, your basic black pen, and then just kind of color in the part that didn't stamp right, like so. See, and all fixed. Look at that. Dun da da. So see, I'm making mistakes tonight, but see, there's always ways to fix it. So you just come in with your pen and you just go over that. All right, so let me bring in my stamp and seal and just put this on the inside. I'm not gonna map the one on the inside, oh, but I better be careful because I've got ink on my on my mat here. So we're gonna get that down. Alrighty, so there's card number three. What do you guys think? Isn't that fun? And thanks for Brenda for saying let's pop it up because that looks super cute popped up. And this, and then again, I just brought in like soft suede and there we got that one. All right, so this last one, um, I actually haven't had a chance to put it together yet, so we're going to be putting it together together. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get that to dry really quick. So bear with me while I'm getting that to dry. Okay, so for this one, um, I colored in, um, and we're, I don't think I'm using any mats on this one. So this is another one of those designer series paper where I colored in. Isn't that fun? Fun, fun, fun. And what I'm going to do is we're going to mount this on some soft suede. And I'm going to bring in some of the Baker's Twine and I'm going to use the black this time. And I, I want my bow kind of on this side over here. This one's going to go pretty quick. So hope, hopefully you guys are bearing with me tonight as I've done more cards than I usually try to do in one night. But this set is so much fun. I'm just having too much fun with it. And so this time I want my bow to kind of be over here. Um... And then when I tie it, I want it to be like this way. So let's see if I can get that done without tying that knot. Sometimes when I try to tie a knot, now you guys can see why I use my bow maker. Yeah, that's too loose. Okay. That's why I always tie that uh, knot that I was telling you guys about. <laughs> so basically, I'm just going to kind of wrap this down underneath this is just what works for me everybody might have a different way that they do this but I have just found that it will hold it in place um, so I can get like this first knot in maybe maybe not and then it holds everything the way I want it and it also gives me an opportunity to like open my edges and stuff then I can tie my bow without fighting the whole thing. All right, so that's gonna have a bow like right there. And then um, this time, because my bow's in the middle, I can just do my stamp and seal 
on the edges like I normally do. All right, so this is gonna go on here like so. All right, and then I pre-cut. This is one of the sayings that, uh, this is one of the dies that's in that set. And it says, here for you. And I should have used my um, adhesive on that. But I didn't. Um, but I do have, um, Lisa Curcio taught me about this, that you can order these from Amazon and you fill it up with your Tombow glue. So I just basically cut the top off of this and put it in here. And it actually gives you a really fine tip for like, especially this type of thing. You do have to shake it to get it to the bottom though. So it makes it nice because it's got this really fine tip and when I'm using something like this where I've forgotten or didn't think about using the adhesive, I mean, obviously the adhesive sheets would have been the best because you can see this takes a little bit of time and effort. All right, so we're just going to get that on there. And then I've got another piece of soft suede. And we're going to pop that right on there like so. Ah. Then we're just going to stick that down. We're going to pop this up. I'm going to have to cut the, these over here now. So I just go down and cut those. You could leave them in strips too. Like you could just leave that, this whole one right here that's in a strip. Um, and then that actually would be good for like up there. Makes it a little bit quicker. Ah. All right. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull all these off. Then we're gonna stick this one on. This was one I was working on and I didn't actually get to finish my thought process on this one. So I'm just kinda doing this one as I go to see, cause I'm just trying to do a quick and simple card here. And it's kind of a more masculine card. And I haven't thought the inside through yet. So um, not sure what I would put on the inside of this, but there's the front of it here for you. What do you guys think? Cute, huh? Isn't it fun? And I love these. I love the blends. Love, love, love the blends. And there is one more die that cuts out the wording. And I believe that one says... Um, whoops, you matter. So it cuts out you matter. So guys, this is a really fun set. Um, and I know like when you first look at this, you think, what am I going to do with a stamp set that has hands in it? Right. Um, but so many cute cards, right? So here we go. Here's all the different ideas that I've come up with. And again, this one is the All Together Collection. And it comes with the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, and all of the new blends. So that's one. So you get one, two, three, four, five different combos because they come in a combo of two. So you get five sets of different, different combo of the blends plus all of this um, in this all together collection. And this just went live for customers today. So um, yay, right? Are we excited? I'm excited. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tonight. 
Um, I'm glad that we went through this with no technical difficulty and everything went smoothly. But I appreciate all of you being here. I appreciate your input and helping me some pop up and design tonight. That was a lot of fun. Um, as always, I appreciate your time uh, being here. I know all of us are busy and we have uh, schedules to keep. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out with me and help me with some of my design tonight. Um, so again, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, same thing with Facebook. Make sure you're following me. Uh, it just helps me with my social media output. Um, and again, I appreciate all of you guys. And um, for those of you that are on here, that just remember that I do have classes coming up in February, as does Two of my team members, Susie and Brenda, and I have sent out emails with those full schedules. If you're on here and you want to see those, um, then just let me know and I can get that sent out to you. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Everybody have a great rest of the night. And um, I'll be seeing you next Tuesday with some another. Um, actually, there's another new release coming and I'll be playing, I think, with that one next Tuesday. So if mine gets here in time. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much, and also, if you don't forget, if you need to order any of this stuff, uh, stuff, and you don't have a demonstrator already, um, please use this hostess code. Um, go to juliebrown.stampinup.net and use that hostess code for February. So, everybody, have a great night. Bye.